My name is Bailey Mipsud. My Aboriginal name is Marinda Ganya, which translates to beautiful spirit in peak Wurrung language. I'm a contemporary Aboriginal artist, um, a proud Gundajamara woman, and we're currently located on Funarong land in Bentley East. I'm a part of the Eastern Ma people. I was born and raised in Warrnambool, Victoria, uh, southwest Victoria, and I started learning art when I was five at the Brenbuck Cultural Centre. My passion for Indigenous art really stemmed from my passion for my culture, from listening to Nan tell stories about how she grew up in today's society as an Aboriginal woman. For a Year 11 project, I did a portrait of three dot paintings of my brother, and the school had selected it to go into the Catholic Education Office exhibition, and it actually won an award. I started doing art during COVID, so one weekend I purchased some supplies from Officeworks and posted on Facebook and I got a lot of encouragement from friends and family and from there I started. I started my business. Since then I've probably done about 350 commission pieces. For my framed pieces I use a 1000 GSM board from Officeworks with acrylic paint and obviously Posca on top. For my canvas pieces I use stretch canvas which I also get from Officeworks. There are around 30 to 40 different symbols in which can be used in storytelling. Uh, every family and mob are taught different ways in which you can tell your story by using these symbols. My full-time job is the National Indigenous Engagement Lead at Officeworks. It mainly focuses on delivering actions of the RAP, which is our Reconciliation Action Plan, but also around the retention, recruitment and development of Indigenous team members. One of my biggest achievements is the collaboration with Otto for the Marindigunya range. So that was launched in Officeworks store late last year and it is an Aboriginal inspired stationary range. My advice to any aspiring artists would be to just give it a go. Don't be too harsh on yourself. Every piece is different for everybody. Art is obviously subjective to opinion, so just give it a crack.